is a Ryan Little production. Right next to the fire with this outside. Oh mama, that's got some serious snow on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of freaking snow. That's what I'm talking about though, that's what I flip and need and there's no way I'm even gonna step out into that. Ready for a coffee before we go out amongst all the craziness? I'm not going out, I'm staying in <laughs> by the fire. I'm gonna go out but by myself today. Lissy's just gonna do some chilling in the beauty of this log cabin-ish kind of area. It's very pretty here. Extremely pretty. I love that they got this little cafe. Cool, huh? Here we go. Time to hit it up again. Enjoy a little bit of the beautiful, luxurious peak and peak. Here we go again. Let's see if we can enjoy some serious powder. Look at this guy chewing through all the snow like that. Good job, buddy. Good job. That would be. That'd be a pretty cool job, don't you reckon? But pretty pumped today. We had a beautiful night slumber in our snuggly little cabin here on the mountain at Peak and Peak. Got a bit of snow overnight to sort of just fluff up the area so that we can do some really nice boarding. This is our last couple of weeks in the States and this is extremely important for me to be able to get some good snowboarding in before we get back home because I'm probably not going to be able to go snowboarding probably until we come back here again. So this is exciting. It's always good to experience all elements of life, whether it be snow, whatever it is. Oh, oh who turned the air conditioning up? <laughs> just started to flip and rain kind of like a, an icy rain which isn't the best because you, you just start getting really wet but I've had like a good three hours of snowboarding I think I might go in to a snuggly warm log cabin -y kind of restaurant and grab some lunch and maybe even a beverage what do you think I think I might Even though it might be raining a whisker, it's 
going to be super nice to just chill, you know? This sort of weather just brings on a beautiful kind of chill. Here we go again. Making yet another pit stop for Nathan because he doesn't know when to go to the bathroom at the correct proper time. So, yeah. <laughs> we just got done um, staying two nights at Peak and Peak and it was awesome. We had mommy and daddy time, we had our alone time, so Grammy watched the lyric for us for the past two nights, which she said has been fun. And she said Aria every day as well. So she said the two little munchkins together and we keep getting little photos of them and it's just so cute to see them together. So, But we are so excited to get back home and pick up our baby and give her smooches, smooches, smooches. Because we miss her so much even though we really needed some alone time. We miss her a lot. But it was really good because we haven't been able to do anything, just the two of us, you know, because it's always been the three of us in the RV for so long, and so it's good to take advantage of Grandma when we're at Grandma's house. So thanks, Grammy. I'm sure Lyric's been loving spending her time with you. But now I'm sitting in the car waiting for Nathan, but he's going to bring me a coffee. I see somebody in there getting something out of the donut thing. What is it called? <laughs> the donut display. It's one thing that's happened to Nathan since he's been in America is that he, well, kind of. He has become obsessed with donuts. I mean, he's always liked donuts. Australia makes some pretty good donuts, but they don't have nearly as many good donuts as we have in America. I mean, they don't have nearly as many good things of a lot of stuff that we have in America because we are just crazy food junkies. So he loves getting the glazed classic donuts, so he better be getting me one. <laughs> Welcome back. Hi. <laughs> so He's a good hubbin because he brought me back some donuts. Yeah! I feel like Just like, like I, I said, ooh, ooh look at that. Damn. Those yummy you know, donuts. both of these coffees and those donuts only cost ooh. three dollars. What? How does that work? Are you serious? America, you are just trying to make me fat. I'm gonna be one fat little guy. Because I could see you in the window going through the donut thing. <laughs> So I got Guilty. you on camera. You've been busted. Guilty. I'm I was sorry. Telling everybody how obsessed with donuts you've become since we've been in America. It's freaking horrible. I feel like I'm a slave to the donut. <laughs> Where am I going? Which, you which feel way? better now? Which road is this? We're back with our little child and we are so happy and so excited to be back with her again. It's it's a beautiful time. Oh, hi. How was your time with us away? Did you miss us? I'm walking away. No, we are very excited to be back with our little treasure. It was a very... Hi. Yeah. Hi, everybody. It was a very special time away with my Lissy Lou, wasn't it, Lissy? Oh, you don't think so? Okay, I'm just, I'm just offering out suggestions. Okay, all right, all right. I won't talk about it too much. Even though we came to America with very little stuff, we still, what, what do we have, Lissy? About six bags, six full bags? No, more than that. We probably had like seven full bags. And we had less. We had less? About six full bags. Maybe I'll go back and have a look at the footage of us like walking with all of our baggage. We had four suitcases of clothes. Okay. Right. Because Lyric had two small ones. Okay. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, this is just, there's so much going on. Oh, there's so much going on here with, with your little voice box going all the time. I must admit, it does feel, it does feel really cool being able to fit your whole life into a couple of bags. There, there is a, a very freeing element to that because it just means you got less junk. And I know there's always that side of me that, you know, I like to have a variety of things and I'm sure it's going to change when eventually we're back in our little cabin back in Australia. But even still, when we were back there, we are constantly trying to keep our stuff to a minimum so that we weren't constantly crowding out the small space that we lived in back in Australia. So... I really like it. I really, after having done it for a couple of years now and even living just out of suitcases, I feel like it's taught me more and more about, and Alyssa kind of thinks a little bit differently. She thinks I'm, she kind of, it puts a lot of pressure on her for us not to collect stuff. And so I'm sorry, Alyssa, that I do that a lot. But I feel like our balance is pretty good with her, her side of the family are very, um, everything's a memorabilia. So, like, her mum loves to collect things that her mum had and her mum's mum had, and I get that. There is a, a beautiful side of that that helps you hold on to the memories of, you know, your loved ones. That's, for me, that's why I make these videos, is because this is something for me to hold on to rather than stuff. And so... I just feel like it's all about a beautiful balance, isn't it, Lissy? Everything in life is just always about a beautiful balance, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I was thinking about it before. I was thinking, well, we're watching the show Hoarders, and, and then after it is that show about people that are going through the horrible um, stages of obesity, and I'm thinking, man, it's just everything in life is about the perfect balance. For us, it's like our faith comes first, our family comes second, and then the stuff that brings us joy in life comes comes third. And that oh. is usually, if it's tied in with like exercise and healthy living, then you've got like these three principles that are constantly going to carry you through life and keep you balanced. Mm 